What is up everyone and we are back with another guide about Fantasy Star Online 2. Today we are talking about how to finish breakthrough training as quickly as possible. Currently there is an event for a quest link boost. Upon completion of this quest, you get points to level up your quest link. From level 1 it gives you 0% EXP and red drop rate. At level 16 the maximum it gives you 200% EXP and 200% red drop rate. Just finish SP Breakthrough 10 times on Ultra Hard to get to level 16 for that 200% red drop rate and 200% EXP. This event lasts until March 16th, so you should definitely do this as the boost also applies to SP Breakthrough and its trigger, Armada Training Final, and its trigger, Persona, if it's a UQ, and its trigger. SP Breakthrough drops Varuna and Mitra models for those Claws units and Steel weapons, as well as the Carissa series and the Vortex weapon series. It also drops S3 Lucent University. This is absolutely vital in creating the best PP battery weapon, that when you have S2 and S3 on a Ganon series, you will recover 30% of your max PP every time you use a Photonite or a Technique. It also sells for around 100 million each, so farm away. As for precise balance, it increases critical damage by 6%, but decreases your critical hit rate by 50%. As for steadfast will, increase normal attack potency by 13%. As for escalating pursuit, within a 4 second window it deals damage based on the amount of damage you did with your photon arts or techniques. It is one of the best S4 augments for pure damage and the maximum damage is 250,000. S5 augment bloom, it doubles the stats of the weapons augments. There's also Mitra and Varuna glare and Apergina reverie and apprentice soul. On top of that it gives you plenty of 13 to 14 star weapons and those can be exchanged for X cubes. A 13 star gives you 3 x cubes and a 14 star weapon gives you 5 x cubes each. And you're gonna need thousands of x cubes to exchange for 40% augmented boosters to use that when the guardian soul finally comes out, because that's only a 10% chance of success. For me, I always get over 50 x cubes per run depending on your luck and your drop rate. I did have the 200% red drop rate boost and 200% ex boost from getting level 16 in the quest link. You can keep your weapons to augment them or sell them, but for me I am struggling on X-Cubes, so I am exchanging my weapons for those X-Cubes. So if you want these augments and weapons, SP Breakthrough is for you. On top of that, the boost, like I said before, it applies to the final armada, and that drops plenty of different weapons and units for endgame. When you first start, there's going to be two portals, just pick any one you want. If one area has more than the other, you're going to get a buff depending on how many players are in the map with you, like the divide quest, but it only lasts in this certain map. If one side finishes first, a portal will appear and teleport you to the other map so you can help the other side. In the second area, as soon as you enter, there are two enemy turrets called demi variables in the far back. Destroy them and it's going to spawn a turret each. These turrets, when you use them, deal over 50,000 to 400,000 damage a hit, depending on the enemy's defense. They are absolutely vital in beating this quest as quickly as possible. After you beat the first wave of enemies, two more of these turrets will spawn in the front. Destroy them so that it will spawn two more turrets for you guys to use. If you are using a turret like I am, just shoot the other turrets down so your other teammates can use them as quickly as possible. When you finish a catapult will spawn on both sides, split up if you can. Here you're going to fight two bosses, just kill them and the barrier on the ship will dissipate and the enemies will spawn down below. But here is where many miss these top turrets. There are two more turrets up on the top that deal 200k to 400k damage to the enemy boss. Use them or your run will be much slower. Just destroy the enemy fractal cannons and it's gonna spawn. When you finish your side, a catapult will spawn for you to go to the other ship to help your other team out or to the middle where the bosses are. And that is where you fight Varuna and Shiva. Just kill them and you're done. This is pretty straightforward but a lot of people miss those turrets in the front and the back as well as the top on the ships. So try to focus on getting those turrets if you can to make your run much faster.
And that's it for this video. If you liked this video and it helped you out, please hit that like button and subscribe for more videos. Thank you all for tuning in and listening and until next time.